I'm Tyler Weingartner for Cool Tools, and today I want to talk about spray shelters you could fit into a handbag. Spray paints and finishes are both a blessing and a curse. They're fast and easy to apply, they go on quickly, and they can also make a huge mess if you're not paying close attention to what's behind your workpiece. Anyone who uses spray cans regularly has that one spot in their garage or driveway with the telltale markings of overspray getting past the corners of a piece of cardboard. If you don't have the space for a dedicated spray booth, the Homerite Spray Shelter might be the ideal solution for you. This is basically a tiny tent that collapses into a small package, easy for storage, but quickly unfolds into an ideal temporary structure for containing your rattle can mess. The construction of the spray shelter is similar to those collapsible sun shields you can place on your car's windscreen to keep it cool on sunny days. There's a semi-rigid spring steel form within the corners of the structure that help keep its shape when it's deployed. The rest of it is made of a fine mesh canvas-like material which makes it flexible and collapsible, but doesn't allow paint to get through. The spray shelter is available in three sizes. This is the small one. Overall, it measures 35 inches wide by 30 inches deep by 39 inches in height. It's ideal for painting or priming relatively small parts, faceplates, 3D printed parts, replica props, stuff like that. There is also a medium sized shelter measuring 55 inches wide by 55 inches deep and 66 inches tall, which should be good for end tables and other small furniture. Finally, there's a large shelter that assembles like a two person tent. It's nine feet wide, six feet deep, and five and a half feet tall for larger furniture pieces. It's worth noting that the large shelter doesn't have a floor. You'll need to supply your own drop cloth. When I was working out of a smaller shop, this spray shelter was essential for keeping spray messes contained. And even in the larger shop I'm in now, I find myself leaving it up for several days when I have a few intermittent projects that need paint or primer. That said, it's not without its flaws. There's no solid structure to the base, so it can feel a little wobbly. That's not going to be great if you take it outdoors for proper ventilation if there's any kind of breeze. Because of the nature of the structure, it will also likely take you a few tries before you master how to collapse it back into its carry bag. I also wouldn't have minded if they include loops on the interior to hang parts you'd rather not dry while sitting on a surface. I've made these hanging hooks using binder clips, but I don't think they'll hold a heavy part reliably. Still, these spray shelters are a great solution for small shops or occasional painting jobs. The small shelter is available for around $30, the medium size is $40, and the large is $50. You can find links for all three down in the description. For more tool recommendations like these, check out cool-tools.org.